Hey, what's up, guys? Let's keep talking about the biped. In the last video, we checked about some favorite mod features. So I made a feature right here. This is a very important feature. It's the rubber band. It's right here. Hide. So this feature is your for fit your your biped to your freak model. You know you can easy fit your your biped structure to your model. It's like cat system does, but you know in biped. This is an amazing feature, you can use it, so I recommend a lot to fix the biped to your 3D model. So now we can talk about animations. So let's create a new biped. Let's do five fingers. Okay. Okay, we got it. So to talk about animation in Biped, we have a, a lot of tools into tools, more tools. So we are not getting crazy with this one. So we are talking about, we are trying to take a look about everything, but we are taking everything uh, in a way you don't be crazy. So you can understand everything every tool but it's the fastest way so most of the important tool about biped was this tool motion flow mode this is one of the first tools i learned when i get into biped so and i still love this tool and i use it a lot let's start with this tool because you will understand a lot of biped features when you go to biped out of figure mode you have this tool right here this is motion flow mode you can find a lot of bite files around the internet free files you can buy big files you know you can have uh, your own library this feature is very very important to to know it's like a, like a mixer let me find the mixer it's like a mixer but you know mixer is is bigger we we can talk about this mixer in future videos but this one is like a little mixer for faster result let's get it you can just show the graph right here this window pop up so in this tool right here you can read point by files so let's load all this one so you can do amazing stuff right here we got a uh, with this tool you can you just load the animation to the pipe we have a walk stop right here We have a work start and we have an idle. You can delete or you can just create a new script. So let's mix all these animations. Okay, let's let's start with the idle. You can just create a new script, click the idle, click the walk start, and click the walk stop. Then all the animation was mixed. Now suppose you want to fix the, that that animation. Just close this window select the three animations right here and just create unified motions just click on this button you can create a keyframe 
per frame uh, just delete this one but I just keep this one this option but it's not recommendable just just keep it at, like this one and you can go out when you bake all the animation you can go out so all the keyframes go to the pipe now you have the, the mix done with Viper so it's looking good we can fix it right now the way to fix this animation is using layer this does a layer the most important stuff in layer is if you want to keep the original file you can select all your Viper And right here, let's create a, a key. And let's create another key right in the end. Because we don't want to change this animation right here. So we just need to change the first part. Let's make this hand touch the right part right here. You can keep uh, the zero frame, just keeping a keyframe, but uh, we forgot, so we just move to the layer. You can see the layer right here to the original, so you can try to match the, the first pose. Okay, one time this look good, so we can just collapse the, the layer, remember we are working on layer, so the animation will be fixed. We can work a little bit more on this one, we have a arrow right here, the hand is uh, it's going, so we can easily delete this one. We can just delete some key things there. Now you got the animation. Maybe you don't want these guys like you know like crunch a little bit. So if you want make more strange led. So the way to do that is making a new layer go a little bit up and in the down the layer you can find this tool just select right here this in the foot because that's the part you want to keep and update so to keep Foods will keep the original position and uh, now that this guy is not like crunch so you can 
put a little bit more more up if you want I'll do it again so it's not like normal stun one time you finish you can collapse the layer and now you got it a nice animation done so Viper is too fast for clear animation and change animation cans convert an animation another one so if you want to just mirror this animation just go in the keyframing tool you got a mirror right here so the animation we were was mirrored so it's very easy and very useful for games if you have a going right just mirror it and just going left just with one click this is very useful that's why the viper is an amazing tool for animators so i hope you will understand everything this one let's let's get a little bit with the with this kind of mixer let's delete all this one and try another example that way you can play with this one and you understand better let's create a new script we had a run forward right here let's repeat this run just click it so you will have a run sequence so what happened here when you have a continuity like a cycle animation this tool is trying to to make it like smooth with the next one so what you need to do is right click the right and see the le the length of this animation is 19 frames this is right click on the name of the animation so to fix this select this arrow and select this another arrow and right click so right now we're going to zero all these values and move to fix it and start with the next animation was 19 because 19 was the duration of this animation so right now we got a nice cycle right here select everything and just copy to the biped now the cycle must be ready of course we can make a new layer you animate a layer going up keep the it's too high so let's put it down a little bit okay you got it so with the layer you can actually make a layer and make an animation like in front let's keep the the tree motion tree track selection make a key right right there and move in front that way you can you have a viper just running in front if you like it if it's not looking like a slice or something i think it looks very nice just collapse so you can go to the to the keyframing tools and select some part of the movement and make a bend like 45 
then this part of animation will be bent so that's a faster way to bend animations you can even select the wall animation and make a fun degree bend you have a nice bend animation right there That is some cool tool for, for biped. You can train with this tool. I will share the, the animation files. You can play with, with this video and the animation to try to get this learned and done. So let me know in the comment what you think about the biped for now. So in the next video, we can keep talking about by the tool because you know we are just touching one of, of them is a lot of tools right here so i hope you enjoy it uh, you learn a lot so see you in the next one